Yo guys, what is going on? It's Vanny Curio and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel today. I'm going to be teaching you how you can create this awesome um, Twitter header for your Twitter and the social media. So thanks for watching. Bye. So guys, what you want to do first is come to, um, we want to come to file and new or what you can do is control N. So I'm just going to get the preset here and I call it header. And what you want uh, to be called uh, the width is 1,500. One or 1500 and uh, the height will be 500 pixels so click OK now we want to just get our background here so what we're just going to do copy an uh, image right here and control V what we're just going to do is delete the background there so we don't need that now what we're going to do is size it a bit up just like so Got set. there we go now what we're going to do now is we're going to add um, just a, a brightness, um, the brightness down, and we're going to contraction, contrast up. So copy them, uh, copy them there, uh, contrast, and the brightness. Just copy them settings there. Now once you copy them, what you want to do is come to expose, and you want to bring the uh, expose down to minus 83 not putting it free and bring this up um, say around um, say um, say 53 and what you just want to do now is um, let's do, what do, we do? Yeah, 0 0.98. So copy them um, on the gamma correction. Copy them settings there. So get that kind of color correction like that. Now, one, what we did is it had like a blue tint to it. So, what we're just going to do is come to color balance. And where you see uh, on the bottom, yellow and blue, change this to a little bit to the side. Um, so, about, what do we do? We did about. No, uh, post 23. And what we did is we opened the um, we opened the brightness up to the yellow, so minus 19 on the bottom. You don't need to change any bottom on the D's. You can on this, but um, I didn't because uh, it looked all right. So now I've changed a copy of them settings that you do if you got there, and you can see there's no shadows on this. You can do shadows if you really want. But it doesn't really, not in my opinion, it doesn't really help. So, mine's mis tones, you know, plus 23 on the bottom, and highlights and minus 19 on the bottom. So copy them settings. Once you got that, guys, what you're just gonna do now is you're just gonna get a brush, um, a reasonable size, bigger than the, uh, a bit bigger than the, but bigger than the um, header, and you're gonna do a black color, a pure black color. And it's gonna do the sides just like that. I can't really explain that. You just create a little shadow on the sides. Now create a new layer and just do one and two stripes on the sides like so. Now what we're just gonna do is go to the curves. What we're gonna do is create like an S kind of um, shape. Um, just like so. Like an S, um, let me just go back on there so you can copy it. Can't really explain it. Create like a snake or something like that. so. Change the capacity a bit down. Um, do about do about 41. Um, bit weird number there, but yeah, <laughs> that's what we did on our other one. Um, as you see on the screen, there's going to be like a, a concept what we're designing. So. Um, we're gonna, what we're gonna do now is create like a little lighting on the top here. Um, so what we're gonna do is create like a, um, let's do about, no. This really makes your design stand out. And yeah, so what we're gonna do is leave that now. Um, let's change the capacity a tiny bit down. About 76 is fine, and yeah. What we're going to do now is get a uh, guideline, so what, uh, what you can do is uh, control R, like so, or you can go to view, show, 
and guides. Right, so, and they're already showing. So, um, what you want to do is drag down to the top and also to the bottom. You can also drag one in the middle, so you can text it or logo. You can go in the, go in the middle. Um, I'm just going to drag one in the middle as well. So what we're going to do guys is what we're going to do is going to come to the brush 100% and we're going to be 9 pixels. What you want to do is, well you can get your straight line so it doesn't go like that. What you can do is start on the top there and click one space at the top and what you want to do is shift and just go and just brush across like so change capacity a bit down like that um so what if i get capacity on so a bit more down like that um so it's on um there we go we have that now wait there there you go, it's on 35. And what we're gonna. Wait there. Where's our. Uh... Well, that's what we did it on. Sorry, guys. We need to create a new layer. Create a new layer. Uh, how we can get the lines back is uh, Control H. Like that. So, what I didn't do before is create a new layer for these. And do these fast again. Um, overlay. Change past it down to. Reasonable amount, so I'll do about do about twenty. That's good. Now I need to change it a bit down a bit, like that. That's smashing. So now we got this. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna merge visible, and we're gonna do Control J to uh, duplicate it. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to other high pass, and we're gonna pull it on. We're going to put this on 3.8. Do it OK. Overlay it. Now I'll put on 60. Um, it's good on 62. What we're going to do now is merge the visible and J. And what you want to do now is you want to double click. Uh, so you get your blending options. You've done default there. What you want to do is you have your channels RGB. Well, that's why it's RGB color. When you come here, new. Um, well, the wood, if you come here, new. And it's RGB color. That's what we always have it on, so we get every color. Um, <clears throat> so, what you want to do is double click on this, on the new layer you duplicated, and untick the G. And keep the RB um, and ticked. So, what you want to do, as you can see, we got. Um, Creates like a little, just um, not like a glitch effect, but just just a color um, section across. So what we're just gonna do, untick these and create that. And what we're gonna do now, um, let's take this, let's go to our movement tool. Uh, let's see this moving. There you go. If we have more of a background, you would see it more, but that's how we got it. And yeah. So, guys, what you want to do, I'm going, what I'm going to do is create like an effect. What I'm going to do is go to Desort, Rip Orbit. I'm just going to turn this down. So, let's do about 150%, like so. We got that kind of effect. And what we're just going to do is delete some areas of this um, design like so and now what we're just going to do is just d duplicate this create a new layer white um, not hardness and what you want to do reason about size and just click a couple of times on your header create overlay like so What I'm gonna do is see if I can find my logo. Um, um, 
Why did I save it for? Now I'll just do. I did the text like I did um, on the. So do the name. What I'm gonna do on here. Um, I'm just what I'm just gonna do is duplicate that. Um, I'm taking the name for now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around this. This here. So what you want to do is come around this like so. Do a fast um, bit like this. Just go around this little object. And also, if you want this picture, guys, I will put it in the description below, so don't worry about that. Um, so, yeah. So, we're nearly done. We only need to just get a bit of it, not all of it. Um, so, yeah. That's it, we can just come to here now, section, and come here, uh, let's do about, let's do about there, copy, and what we're just going to do now is add our name, put that under it, so we got that kind of, and what we're going to do on here, double click, um, drop shadow, light, so, and what we're just going to do, like a little drop shadow over, and what we're because it doesn't look good here, what we're just going to do is get the eraser tool, and we're gonna just, we're just gonna raise it just like so. Couldn't look that good. Um, maybe not. Let's go. Just like so. That's basically it. And what we're gonna do to make it more better, we're just gonna get a brush with just a black um, color. And just do it over just like that. So it looks like it's under. Like so. <clears throat> like that. And what we're just going to do is come to the name. And we're just going to add some effects onto here now. So what we're just going to do is come to um, Bunda and um, Bravo and their bows. So we're just going to set this a bit up. Um, soft sand. Um, I'm just gonna do this really fast, and you guys can copy me. Um, so yeah. Um, you can just copy the settings. So copy these settings now, guys. Um, as the R. And that is how you can do your text, and it only took me about two seconds um, on here. So I'll just put that back to the default. them settings there and they have your name now what you want to do is how you can create this a lot better um, what you can do is um, control J on this or size type um, if you want to um, what is it um, size um, put it under and what you can do is come to um, filter um, distort ripple um, what you want to do is ripple this up just like so, like that, and you have your little like spot like um, like design. You just wanna remove the middle parts of this, um, just like so. You don't want all of it in there. Keep that bit, um, cause it just looks too much when you have everything in there. Um, but you can just delete some of them. 
Wait, that. And um, there we go. I'll keep that bit. Um, delete that. And what we're going to do is we are going to do that. Oh, there we go. Okay. A bit over just like that. There we go. We have uh, too much there. And what we want to do now, guys, is we can just. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to control G on that. Let's just add um, some just spots. Not spots, just um, overlays on that. Just to brighten it all up make it look so much better just like that and I think we're done now guys and um, what you just want to do is we can just um, come here and just come to the background don't and go on to it just do it outside and you can see it creates this cool darkness effect on the sides a little bit darker there so what you want to do is come like that and there we go guys you have your header and it's a professional header um, what you could do guys is come to Google on here um, is what I did on the banner um, What I did on the um, thingy one what I did is um, social media um, Social media um, PNG So I had I added uh, Twitter um, So come here and I'm just gonna get the twist of that I did like so and there we go so I'm gonna go like that um, what I did is I did it um, like a grey light colour like so a bit of a drop shadow like that I need to just place it. Um, where did I place it now? There we go. There. And I'm gonna do this now. It's kind of um, at your name, just like so, with there and. A little bit smaller. Let's do a bit. Out. A little bit smaller, like so. <coughs> so there we go, we have that now, guys. Um, so thanks for watching this, guys. I hope you enjoyed. And um, I'll put the download link in the description below. So thanks for watching, guys, and peace.